Do this because you want to be broadly educated. Sandra Wirth and my wife, who majored in political science and was a teacher and a legislator, said that one of the most valuable courses she took in college was art history because it has helped her enjoy art museums all over the world. It was not her field of study, but it opened new doors and enriched her life. Play sports. It's fun, gives you a break from study, and refreshes your mind. And every college or university has wonderful intramural sports programs. Consider working on campus. The key is to stay very busy because that helps you plan and budget your time. We all perform better under a rigorous, structured schedule. Second, Speaking of staying in shape, get into an exercise program. Every college has incredible weight and exercise facilities. Use them. They are also great places to socialize. Third, begin this week to think about and plan for graduate school. Usually it's a good idea to leave your undergraduate school and go to a university for graduate study. Now, you may not know what you are going to major in yet, and that's perfectly all right. And those of you who do will probably change, sometimes several times, and that's okay too. But keep graduate school in mind, even at this early time. While you're thinking about graduate study, consider taking a couple of years off after college and work or travel or both. Don't tell your parents I told you. <laughs> Fourth, definitely plan to do a semester or a year abroad as part of your college program. Every college or university has study abroad programs. There are wonderful opportunities and affordable too. There's a big world out there and you will live your lives in a global community. Look into this immediately when you arrive on campus in the fall because you need to plan your courses around this activity. For many students, it is a life-changing experience. Fifth, colleges and universities vary greatly in size and reputation and cost. But in the classroom, the training and expertise of professors is about the same. This means the education you get does not depend on the reputation of the institution or the cost of tuition, but on how aggressive you are as a student. Think of yourself as an entrepreneur. Be active. Take advantage of all the opportunities you can find. Colleges and universities are wonderful places with incredible teachers and very smart students. But some faculty are coasting. And a lot of students are marking time and drinking too much. Avoid gold. Find teachers who excite you no matter what courses they teach and make friends with fellow students who are excited about learning and want to change the world. Six, limit the time you spend on Facebook. <laughs> it can be addictive, you know what I mean. Seven, keep a diary, even if it's just a few notes each week and names of friends that you admire. You can do it on the computer if you wish. I wish I had done so. Finally, express your appreciation to the faculty and staff and your family who have supported and encouraged you. A good rule for life is always thank those who help you along the way. Well, enough advice. The Academy has offered you outstanding preparation and you've taken advantage of it. As Ed Ball, one of the sons of the founders of the Ball Corporation and Ball State University used to say, the end is also the beginning. Now graduates, you are ready. Take the next step to the new beginning. Our best wishes go with you.